Welcome back guys. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to build a scent-free and durable long-lasting deer stand. You can bow hunt or gun hunt out of this stand and it is a lot more affordable than a traditional redneck or muddy tower stand. We're gonna show you how to do this in a few easy steps, so stick around. Start off with a four by eight sheet of five eighths in treated plywood and treated two by sixes to frame out the edge of your platform and add a few two by sixes in the middle to beef it up. Next, attach your four by four post mounts in each corner of the base. This angle you see here is how the post mounts will come from the factory. This angle keeps your post from being straight up and down, which will add stability. Next, we are gonna frame up the walls. We use the two by twos instead of the two by fours to reduce cost and the weight. We started off by framing out the windows at the height which we would like it to be, which is about 36 inches. We added studs every 16 inches above and below the window to keep the walls sturdy and hold up the window. The side walls will get a slight pitch from front to back so the rain doesn't pull up on the roof. The back walls will be framed with a window and a door. Now it's time to build the steps which are made out of 2x8 treated lumber. We started off by cutting out a template to trace the stringers. This makes it a lot easier to get the angles correct. After that, we cut out the steps following the outline we just drew. From there, we added another 2x8 to the outside of each stringer to add strength. We only attach the top two steps and the bottom two steps plus one in the middle to reduce the weight for travel and make it easier to set up in the woods. Next, we mixed four 5-gallon buckets of concrete, which will be dug out into the ground about two feet and will support our 4x4 posts. At this point, the platform, stringers, and all the walls are framed up and it's time to start installing the composite metal on the walls. We measured and cut the sheets as big as possible to minimize wasting of the material and to have less gaps or areas for scent to sneak out. We used a 1 and 5 8 inch screw with a rubber washer to help keep it weather tight. We used the composite material because it would last a lifetime compared to regular wood which would warp or rot over time causing more maintenance on the deer stand. Once we had all the pieces put together, we loaded up the trailer like a big game of Jenga and we took off first thing the next morning. It was important to gather all the necessary hand and power tools, screws, hardware, and equipment prior to getting started, including a four-wheeler to stand at the base. A four-wheeler is not necessary, but helps a lot for installing the platform. We started out by assembling the 4x4 post to the base of the stand. Once that was complete, we had a cross bracing to ensure we would be able to stand it up and have a place to hook the rope up for being pulled behind the four-wheeler. After being stood up and leveled out, we pulled up the stairs, attached them to the base, making it even more structurally sound. On the way up, we would screw in each missing step we had till we got to the top. Then we started by pulling up the front and two side walls and tacked them to the base. Before we put the fourth wall up, we installed the roof because it would have been much more of a hassle to install with all four walls assembled. After installing all the walls and roof, we went in and caulked all the cracks to keep the cold out and our scent in. Last but not least, we cut shooting lanes in multiple directions where we knew deer typically traveled. We put this stand in a river bottom adjacent to an ag field where we typically find deer cruising or heading off to feed but these stands will work great for any location. Well guys, there you have it. That's how you can build an affordable deer stand that is scent free and durable. You do not have to follow any of these measurements or sizes by any means. You can modify it however you would like to accommodate your needs, whether that's being taller, shorter, uh, window heights are different, bigger, smaller, any way you want it. This is just how we build all of our deer stands that have worked for us in the past. If you have any uh, comments on how you build yours, leave them down in the comments, leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.